Hi, welcome to another video. So, if you've been following the AI space for the last few months, you might have noticed a bit of a worrying trend. While the open source community has been making strides, the gap between open models and the big proprietary giants like Gemini 3.0 Pro or the Claude or GPT 5.1 seem to be widening. It felt like the closed source models were accelerating away, especially when it came to complex reasoning and agentic tasks. But just when we thought the frontier was getting out of reach, DeepSeek dropped a massive update that basically resets the board. I'm talking about DeepSeek v3.2. Now, usually, version bumps are incremental. You get a little faster, maybe a little smarter. This is different. They haven't just released one model. They've released a framework that pushes the boundaries of what open models can do, specifically in reasoning and coding. And the best part? It's available on Hugging Face right now. So, let's break down what is actually happening here, because there are two main versions you need to care about. The standard DeepSeek V 3.2 and something they call DeepSeek V 3.2 Speciale. And that second one is honestly kind of terrifying, in a good way. First, let's talk about the architecture, because this is the secret sauce. The biggest bottleneck for large language models right now is attention. As you increase the context length, basically how much information the model can hold in its head, the computational cost usually explodes. It makes running these things locally, or even in the cloud, incredibly expensive. DeepSeek introduced something called DeepSeek Sparse Attention, or DSA. Here is where it gets interesting. Instead of the model paying attention to every single token equally, which is the standard vanilla attention mechanism we've used since the Transformer paper, DSA uses a lightning indexer. Think of it like a spotlight. It quickly scans the context and decides, okay, these are the top K most important tokens relevant to this query, and it ignores the rest. It basically allows you to process massive amounts of context with a fraction of the compute. We are talking about reducing the complexity significantly while keeping the performance of a dense model. This isn't just a theoretical optimization. It means this model is incredibly cheap to run, even at long contexts of up to 128,000 tokens. But it doesn't just stop there. The real headline here is the Speciale model. DeepSeek V3.2 Speciale is designed specifically for reasoning. They took the constraints off. They relaxed the length penalties during training and let the model think for as long as it needs to. Now, let me explain why this matters. In the benchmarks provided in their technical report, DeepSeek V 3.2 Special isn't just competing with open source models like Llama or Mistral. It is trading blows with Gemini 3.0 Pro and surpassing what they call GPT-5 High in reasoning benchmarks. For example, look at the math competitions. In the 2025 International Mathematical Olympiad, the IMO, this model achieved gold medal performance. In the International Olympiad in Informatics, which is a hardcore coding competition, it also hit gold medal levels. It ranked second in the ICPC World Finals benchmarks. This is an open weights model performing at the level of the absolute best human competitors in the world. That is kind of awesome. However, there is a trade-off. The Special model is essentially a thinking model. It generates a massive chain of thought before giving you an answer. This means it burns through a lot of tokens. It's not the model you use for a quick chatbot response. It's the model you use when you have a complex architectural problem or a mathematical proof that needs to be solved. Now, 
Let's switch gears to the other side of this release. Agents. We all know that agents are the buzzword of the year. Everyone wants an AI that can use tools, search the web, and execute code. The problem is that most open source models are pretty bad at this. They get confused, they get stuck in loops, or they just hallucinate function calls. DeepSeek tackled this with a massive reinforcement learning pipeline. They didn't just train on text. They synthesized over 1,800 distinct environments. We are talking about search agents, code engineering agents, and general task agents. They generated 85,000 complex prompts to train the model on how to handle multi-step workflows. Here is where it gets really cool. They implemented a cold start phase. They realized that you can't just separate reasoning and tool use. The model needs to reason while it uses tools. So, they trained it to maintain its thinking state even while waiting for a tool to return a result. If you ask it to plan a trip, it doesn't just call a weather API and forget why it called it. It keeps the context of, I need to check the weather to decide if I should book the outdoor restaurant. They also addressed a huge pain point for developers, context management. If you have ever built an agent loop, you know the context fills up fast with tool outputs, JSON logs, and error messages. DeepSeek introduced strategies like discard 75% or summary. Basically, when the context gets too full, the model is smart enough to summarize the previous tool outputs or discard the middle chunk of the history while keeping the initial goal and the most recent state. It allows the agent to run for much longer trajectories without crashing your token budget. In their benchmarks, specifically on things like SWE Bench Verified, which tests how well an AI can fix real GitHub issues, DeepSeek V 3.2 significantly outperforms other open source models. It's closing the gap with Claude 4.5 Sonnet, which has been the king of coding agents for a while. But I have to be direct about the limitations. While V3.2 is efficient, the Special model is slow. Because it thinks so much, the token efficiency is low compared to Gemini 3.0 Pro. You are paying for that intelligence with latency. Also, because they trained heavily on synthetic data and specific domains like math and code, it's world knowledge, like knowing obscure trivia or recent pop culture, might still lag behind the massive proprietary models that have indexed the entire internet. Comparing it to the previous version, DeepSeek V3, this is a major leap in utility. The V3 model was great, but V3.2 feels like it's actually ready for production agentic workflows. The fact that they achieved this by allocating over 10% of their pre-training compute just to the post-training reinforcement learning phase shows where the industry is heading. It's not just about more data anymore. It's about better training techniques and smarter architectures like DSA. So. Who is this for? If you are a developer, building coding assistants, data analysis agents, or complex automation workflows, you need to download this. The standard V3.2 is incredibly cost-efficient for general tasks, and the Special variant is a weapon for when you need pure reasoning power. Overall, it's pretty cool. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.